Hello and welcome to Worship Wednesday. Sing with me, you guys. This is How Great Thou Art from 1885. Oh Lord my God, when I Hello, welcome, Worship Wednesday in the middle of the week. My name is Pamela Mary. If you haven't seen me live before, welcome to our Worship Wednesday. And my Instagram live is doing the dumb thing where actually my screen is super dark. So I'm having trouble reading what you say. I'm so sorry. Hi, Marissa. It is so good to see you. And Miller Music Man, hello, good to see you. My cousin Sam is on. Hey, you. Are <laughs> you laughing at me? Uh, you look pretty, Miss Mary. You can call me Pamela. Um, Derek, hello. Hello, Derek. If you're on Facebook, uh, you... Everybody, you guys drop your drop where you're tuning in from in the comments. That way everybody can see like where everybody's popping on from. That's really cool. And on Facebook, I don't even know who's online until you say something. So say something so I know you're there. That'd be awesome. Um hmm. so like I mentioned, how great thou art is from 1885 and this next song holy 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 is also from the 1800s and when I do this song I like to teach a little sign language with it so if you've been on before on one of the days that I've taught some sign language maybe you remember this if not and this is all brand new you're in for a treat I hope Hello, Joshua LeClaire jumped on. It's nice to see you. Marissa says, I love your music. You are such a sweetheart. Okay, guys, so I started learning sign language in middle school because my pastor's wife did the sign language when he preached, and I thought it was so cool, and there was another woman who signed during the songs, and I told my mom I just wanted to learn that. That was so awesome. So my mom paid the pastor and his wife, they had two girls, and one was above me in age, and one was uh, below me, but above my sister. And so she paid the older one to teach me sign language once a week when I was in middle school. We would walk across the street from, from our school to the church where we went, and she would teach me sign language, and we would goof off as preteens do, but I still learned a lot. And I, then later I joined a sign language club and I did competitions where I signed songs. And now I do sign language in the first verse and chorus of one of the songs I do at my live show. And it is so powerful and it usually brings people to tears, which just it's, it's uh, sign language is so, so beautiful. And I once um, went to like 
a punk rock concert where there was a woman on stage doing sign language and I thought that's freaking cool. So holy 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 from the 1800s. <laughs> I'm gonna teach you some sign language for this one. Holy. This is H, two fingers, and holy is a circle and brush your palms across. Holy. And we have three of those. Holy. Okay. Lord, you make an L and you're gonna make a like a sash from your shoulder to your hip without having a guitar in your way. That's Lord, okay? And God, tuck your thumb in here and make like a G in front of you, the curve anyway, God. And then Almighty, all is scoop your hands around and then mighty, it's like strong, okay? So Almighty and all together, that's holy, holy, Holy Lord God Almighty. And now you know some of the most popular words in hymns and contemporary Christian songs. So you can do any of those words while I sing this song, and you're going to sing it with me. I know it. And any of the other songs that I do, or that you do maybe in church. is holy, 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 Lord, God, almighty. So thank you if you did the sign language along with singing with me on that one. I appreciate that. Bridget says, hello, Pam, it's Bridget. I am from Mount Vernon, Washington. I love your music. All right, we got a Washington in the house. Um. Marissa says, sorry for calling you Mrs. Mary. It's a habit, but I will start calling you Pamela. Well, my last name's not Mary. That's my middle name. So Mrs. Mary doesn't even make sense. <laughs> That's all. You can call me Miss Pam if that makes you feel more comfortable because most of my uh, vocal students call me Miss Pam. And so I'd be completely happy if you want to call me that. That's fine too. I understand the respect thing and I appreciate that greatly. Um, Blessed Assurance is a hymn also from the 1800s, from 1873, written by blind lyricist Fanny Crosby, Crosby, and the music was by Phoebe Knapp. Blessed Assurance is a song that I learned when I was a little kid from uh, Salty the Singing Songbook. I don't know if any of you grew up on that. Salty, Salty was a Psalter, a hymn book. A Psalter is a hymn book. And he was this human sized songbook who took kids back in time, like to Bible times and stuff. And I grew up on that music. So I learned Blessed Assurance from Salty the Singing Songbook. And if you know Blessed Assurance, please sing along with me. Blessed Assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste to glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God. Oh, of His Spirit, what is blood? This is my star. 
Blessed assurance that I always thought was called This Is My Story, but it's not. So how many of you guys thought Blessed Assurance was called This Is My Story? <laughs> anybody? 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 Hey, Miss Pam. Yeah, thanks. No, that's cool. So I have been reading part of a devotional on Worship Wednesdays, but I had some major technical difficulties beforehand, and I wasn't even sure I was going to be on both Facebook and Instagram. Uh, first of all, my Mac took 900 years to start because it's old and it likes to shut down randomly and like update, but then like down date, <laughs> like go back on what it updated or just, you know, not work at all, freeze, um, not allow Safari to open, not allow Chrome to open, randomly open stuff, randomly not open stuff. So I wasn't even sure I was going to get iTunes to load. Um, and then, oh my goodness. So then my iPhone, um, I have my old iPhone and my newer iPhone and my newer one suddenly said that I needed to restore it like to factory settings. And I was really nervous that I was only going to have one for my show for you guys. <laughs> and, uh, so I plugged it into my computer and it wasn't working and it wasn't working and it wasn't working. And then finally, just, I don't know, it just let me turn it off and turn it back on and it was fine. So Pamela Mary and technology are not always the best of friends, but I made it. I have both Facebook Live and Instagram Live. What I don't have is the devotional set up. So I apologize that I'm not going to read that to you because I really like reading that to you from the devotional book. So next week, Joshua LeClaire says, I love your beautiful voice and guitar playing. You are very sweet. I really, really appreciate that. How are you guys holding up? Anybody um, gotten to do anything interesting for the summer? Summer is halfway over. Uh, I would love to hear anything cool you've done. I haven't done anything cool. I've had so many trips that I had planned and even had plane tickets and event tickets too and they just got canceled and not everything got refunded so I don't know if you guys have lost a lot of money but I have from this and it's just been you know life is different when you're hanging out doing not what you would have been doing anybody do anything fun I would love to read that and drop that for me in the comments. That would be fun. I should let you know I have, if you drop $10 or more in the virtual tip jar, which is Venmo and PayPal, both are Pamela Mary music and Pamela and Mary Kiefer, my last name for the Cash App. I've never used the Cash App, but I have gotten tips on the Cash App and I greatly appreciate that. Pamela Mary Kiefer, my last name, and Pamela Mary Music for Venmo and PayPal. And uh, at $10 or more, I will send you my Ready to Fly single and bonus acoustic track autographed for you. You will have to put your address in the like message and that way I'll know where to ship it obviously <laughs> I'll need your address or I'm gonna have to hunt you down or something on white pages I don't know and I will send that right out to you if you want that and right now I think we'll get a little bit of chain breaker started so Bridget says, I wanted to go to the Skagit County Fair, but it was canceled. I hope maybe next year. Yeah, county fairs. Oh, so much fun. Joshua. Let's see. Hamid replying to Joshua. Uh, uh, Scotty says, only exciting thing I did this summer was power wash my driveway. 
Scotty. You know, that's something I need to do and haven't done. I pressure washed all the flagstone around my flower beds and they look nice because my house is, is this pretty white brick and then the flagstone is white and then my, so my driveway has spots because I pressure washed it, pressure washed the flagstone on my driveway. My driveway is not horribly dirty, but it's not, you know, pristine from when it was brand new. So you can see like spots, <laughs> I have a spotted driveway. <laughs> Um, and I know someone else has a thing. Uh, I, I think this person, Hemed, is like hacking y'all's conversations. So I don't know how to delete that guy. Delete comment. Okay. Bye. Sorry guys, that's weird. I've never had that happen before, but I'm not surprised that weird stuff happens. Chain Breaker. So I I fell in love with the song a couple years ago. It's a Zach Williams original uh, that I covered, had produced in my country style. And I fell in love with the song a couple years ago because Chain Breaker is about breaking chains, breaking stronghold, breaking addictions and I had had an addiction to alcohol for a long time. It was something that I dealt with and I didn't want to. I wanted to get rid of my alcohol addiction and this song, I had all, I had quit drinking by then and when this song came out I was like oh my goodness this song is amazing and when Zach Williams um, released it, it went number one instantly and then when I needed a song to release in February I have all these songs and I had no fun love songs to release for Valentine's Day and I had people tell me well just release the heartbreak song and and the I hate you songs and I was like I can't do that <laughs> I mean Linkin Park has all those kinds of songs and Nickelback and stuff <laughs> I'm not that kind of artist I don't have a whole lot of those songs I mean I do but I'm not gonna release a whole lot of those songs so I was like what can I do and I thought I really want to release my own version of Chainbreaker because I realized I had an addiction to a person that had broken my heart and I had made this person an idol in my life and Chainbreaker not only in the past had represented breaking the chains of alcohol but then having to break the chains of idolizing a human of being addicted to a person and having to let that go. So that's where Chain Breaker came from. And if you have any idols in your life, if you have, it's weird to think of the word idol in these days, but if you have any addictions in your life, any strongholds, then this song is for you.
Chain Breaker. For anyone who's ever battled an addiction or for anyone who just likes that song. And I dedicate that song to Corey if you're watching because I know that's one of their favorite songs ever. So that's for you. Joshua LeClaire says, you are doing an amazing job, Pamela. Well, I really appreciate that. This next song, I had some people in my life who were kind of critical of me, <laughs> what I wanted to do with my life. And so this song in part comes from that, that I just had to not pay attention to what other people wanted in my life, for my life, even though they were a big part of my life. And I deal with that with vocal students all the time when their parents tell me not tell tell me to tell them not to go into music, and I have to say that I can't tell them that. It's if it's your passion, you have to do it. <laughs> do you ever feel that way? Like you have a passion inside of you, and other people just don't understand why in the world would you do that? Or you're still doing that music thing, or you're not a good uh, guitar player. You're not a good songwriter. And also, I had there people in my life who didn't like that I love Jesus as much as I do, and I was really hurt by some things that were said, and so that's where some of the lines in this song come from, like, holy roller, come and roll with me. I was just trying to normalize that, that like... You can call somebody a holy roller, whatever. It doesn't, it's not a, it's not a bad thing. So if somebody's ever made fun of you for your faith, y'all, I'm with you. And I hope you stick to your faith because that means more than anything on the planet. Because if you have faith, then you'll go to heaven afterwards, right? And that's better than anything on earth. Rob Garza has jumped on and says, hi, Miss Pamela Mary, you're awesome. Rob, I'm so happy to see you. I hope you're doing well. And I'm so glad you jumped on to this live tonight. And Marissa says, sorry, my Instagram is so dark on my end. I can't tell when people are writing me. <laughs> That's so terrible. I gotta catch up on this. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Peter is on. Hi, Peter. And Marissa says, and also what is good is that I love driving and I'm driving very well, not getting on the freeway yet, but I like to take things a step at a time. Oh my gosh, you're getting your license. Fantastic. That's awesome and scary in Houston. I mean, I understand why you're not getting on the freeway yet because it's Houston, but good for you. And... I love that song, Chainbreaker. Oh, thank you, Marissa. And Ready to Fly. Thank you very much. And I can't wait for Parad Paradise, Texas to come out. Thank you. Me, me, me too. <laughs> I mean, I finished that a long time ago, but it's not on my end. Some other things need to be finished with, <laughs> with it. And the timing is just not right. You know, the timing. I have given up on making plans this summer. Because if y'all haven't noticed... Nothing is going on as planned <laughs> this summer. So Paradise, Texas, that was supposed to be released June 26th, the next date that it was supposed to be released was last Friday, guys. Last Friday. So now we're looking at an August release. So that has taught me to... I have my schedule of songs to release and when to release them, and there's a reason they get released at a certain time. And so I have learned to have a backup song and not, not screw up my schedule for my other songs, but have a backup song ready to drop in case something happens. So that is what I have learned. So always look for the lessons. But Paradise, Texas is, is going to come out in August. Man, I said that about July. But really, I'm, I'm being assured that it will. So we shall see. Uh, Priscilla, hey! Priscilla's on. I appreciate, appreciate you joining in. She says, hi. Uh, Marissa says, I already have my license. Oh, okay, okay. Can you go live with me? 
I had to, oh, live, can you go live, huh? Okay, yeah, Marissa, I'll go live with you after, after Ready to Fly, how's that? Okay, yeah, if you guys are on Instagram, you can request to go live, and I'll bring you on, and I wish Facebook had that option, but they don't, so if you want to go live with me, you have to jump on the, the Instagram live, and I'm, on, I'm live on Instagram, uh, Pamela Mary Kiefer, not my music Instagram. I know it's confusing, but there's a big old long story why it's confusing, and I am not getting into that. So ready to fly, you guys. If you are just on the edge and not and know you need to take a leap, I hope this song encourages you. Just jump, fly. I'm with you. If you drop $10 or more in the virtual tip jar, Venmo or PayPal or Cash App, Venmo and PayPal, Pamela Mary. No, it's just Pamela Mary. Pamela Mary. Pamela Mary should find me if you search that. Cash App, Pamela Mary Kiefer. Then $10 or more, I will sign this for you if you give me your address in the message. Because otherwise I won't know where to, where to send it and I'll have to hunt you down somehow. And I hope that you uh, 
I hope that you pick up my CD. That'd be awesome. And I'm gonna bring Marissa on live because she requested that. Let's see. My cousin requested it too. So let's see if he's still on. Sam, are you still on too? If you're on, Sam, type something. I'm waiting for it to connect to Marissa. So you guys, it rained all day today. And it's been rainy the last several days, which makes the barometric pressure low and just fall, which makes my MS feel like, you know, when you go to the dentist and they do x-rays and they put that vest, lead vest on you and you just, it's really super heavy. That's how I feel when the air pressure is falling. Like, I feel like a walking zombie and it's hard to focus on anything and I could just sit and watch paint dry. That would be awesome during those situations. So I've been like that for the last week. It's it's hard. MS is hard, you guys. It's hard. Marissa, it's not letting you on, is it? That's not cool. Go live with. Well, send me another request. And that's what this song is about. It was a beautiful February afternoon and I went and got some grapes out of the fridge, closed the fridge, and then, you know, when you have, somebody takes a picture and you get that flash bright in your eye, I closed the fridge and it was like I had a flash in my left eye. And I thought, I must have looked at the refrigerator light too long or something. And for some reason, it that light, like, didn't go away like it should have. And that light eventually turned into gray. And so I could only see gray out of my left eye. And so essentially I was like blind out of my left eye. I could see gray, that's all I could see in my left eye. And that led to a long, horrible process, all kinds of things, all kinds of tests, little surgeries, uh, tons of money thrown at it. And I was finally given the official diagnosis of multiple sclerosis. And speaking of how I feel like I'd rather watch paint dry, sometimes I get so sick of having to fight these battles like daily. Sometimes it's pain. Actually, like there's pain just about every day, but I get over that. I'm so used to it, right? Some of you guys can understand what I'm talking about. And so, Take Down a Giant is about those times, those battles that you fight that nobody sees, that you just fight on your own, and so Take Down a Giant goes out to anyone who battles physical disease like MS, like cancer, like diabetes, like other autoimmune diseases, also mental things like depression, anxiety, because I never dealt with anxiety until last summer, and depression is, all, is huge with MS, big, big deal. So Take Down a Giant is for you. I wrote this song because I know what it's like when you're facing these battles and it's hard and nobody understands. Nobody understands. So this song is, is for you if you're fighting.
hero, I'm only a human, battling demons, some days I'm losing. But I keep on. Take down a giant, you can do it. And if you ever want some support, just write me, message me. If you need something or if you just want me to pray for you, I would love to do that for you. Anytime, just message me, DM me, write me. I'd be happy to. You can take down a giant. Let's try again, who knows? I'm sure it's on my end. It didn't work the other time we tried to go live. And it's because, you know, it's because of me and technology, we just don't work. <laughs> Hello, Hi. Marissa. Hi, how are you? I am great. I am so happy always doing my Worship Wednesdays because I love being with you guys. What's going on in your world? <laughs> Yeah. You it's are. Yeah. Awesome. You know, foster animals, though. You end up adopting them. Yeah. Well, my mom's allergic to cats. So oh my gosh. Can't. Why are you fostering a kitten if she's allergic? Well, she she's the smartest one. We have a storeroom in our house, and yeah. I gotcha. So. Well, my neighbor, I had to take care of his cats yesterday, and I love cats. I don't have any pets right now, but I got to take care of his cats, and it made me happy. And he was back today, and I was like, I was happy, you know, he's back, because his cats, I'm sure missed him, but I was like, oh, bummer. I wanted to take him home with me. Marissa, did we lose our connection? It's not, it's not your fault. It's my fault. Sorry. Oh, you're good. Okay, we're, we're still back. I just saw that it said Instagram has poor connection or something. Which, surprise, surprise. Oh. <laughs> so, good. I'm glad that you're uh, driving. That's good. Anything else awesome going on in your life? Yeah. Um, so, uh, we heard that we're going... I'm going to... Okay. Uh, is it your yeah, whole your whole district is yeah. starting September eighth? Well, fifty percent are going back. Fifty percent are doing online. Ah. Yeah. Okay. So the whole school district so. is you get to choose. That's so interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you're going. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I wish you the best with that. So thank you. Interesting. You get to choose. Yeah. Age. My best friend's son is unhappy that he's doing his junior year online. I guess they don't have a choice where they live. So. Yeah. Well, thanks for hopping on live with me. I'm gonna let you go and see my next song. Is that cool? Yeah. All right. Thanks for hopping on. All right. Bye. Bye bye. This next song, when you have somebody in your corner who, when things don't feel good in your world, say like dealing with MS 
but you have that person in your life that you could just conquer the world because they're in your life that's this next song that even when things are not going right and you feel totally down they make you want to be a better person they make you strive for more this is you make me didn't pick up the first time I called I wasn't ready to give in and fall and you made me didn't have space didn't have time I didn't ask you to go change my life all that it took was one look in your eyes you made song you guys if you have uh, if you've ever been homesick been away from where you live and then you come back home and you realize the reason why you love where you live is because of the people who make it home that's what this next song is. Paradise, Texas. 
It is called Paradise, Texas because it's a title I had written down for years because I was in a movie called Paradise, Texas forever ago. And I just like the title. There is actually a city called Paradise in Texas. But then again, there are gazillions of cities in Texas. And I have certainly not been to most of them. Been to a lot back in the day on radio tour. And I, it's not about Paradise, Texas, a paradise, the city. It's just, you know, it, I've, I've lived in, I, I didn't grow up anywhere. We moved a lot. My dad's in oil and gas and I've lived in Texas twice. And when I moved to, I lived in Texas the first time I moved back to Florida because I was born in Florida, but I've lived there twice. And then I missed Texas because I just love the Texas Southern hospitality. And I was having this conversation with somebody the other day about like the, the, the Southern hospitality of Texans and they, they weren't from Texas, but they just really liked that about Texans. And I completely agree. I love if they're wearing a hat, ball cap or a cowboy hat, they'll tip the hat. Yes, ma'ams, holding the door. I love when my door is held to go into uh, any sort of you know building and when my door is held to go into a car. I love when my chair is pulled out. I love the Southern hospitality. And so that's so much of what I missed about Texas when I was living in Florida. And then also I've noticed when I've been other places that light cultures are just different and certain cities are just this super fast pace, rush around all the time, or like people look down and don't want to talk to you. And granted, Houston is not as much, I don't think, in certain places of Houston of like that good old boy. I get it, that's where I live in Houston, but a lot of Texas is. And so that's where Paradise, Texas comes from. And that's what Marissa was talking about that <laughs> it was supposed to come out. 26th and that was supposed to come out last Friday and now it'll come out in in August it will and Melissa hi good to see you how are you so Paradise Texas you guys if you if you home is where the heart is right so that's Paradise Texas Seen a lot of 
this big old world, but there's no place better than home. Ain't no Hollywood lights, but there's big stars in the sky. Oh, you can make a wish on first kiss on loose track of time on these old dirt roads. They're like streets of gold. You can bet your life it's a real good life if you've got a good hand to hold. It may not look like much around here. We can't on the lessons living in paradise. is the next single you guys just about loving where you live because you love the people you live you can bet your life it's a real good life if you got a good hand to hold bridget says my favorite song girl seriously that makes me really really happy i have had people say that about other songs but no one has said that about paradise texas yet and so that makes me very happy John Steger says, love, love, and I got lots of hearts. I am super loving you guys. Thank you. Um, nobody else. My Instagram is so dark, but I want you guys to, to write to me if you want to. I just can't read it very well. I have to like, stick my face right up at the front. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Again, if you go to Venmo or PayPal and want to drop $10 or more in the virtual tip jar. Pamela Mary is my username. Look me up. The cash app, Pamela Mary Kiefer. That's my last name. I feel like my hair's a mess, but that's normal for me. Um, I will give you the ready to fly single and acoustic track. So that I will mail to you autographed specially for you for a t virtual tip of $10 or more on Venmo or PayPal, Pamela Mary and Cash App, Pamela Mary Kiefer. And I just thank you guys so much for hanging out with me on Worship Wednesday, especially those of you who come back every single week. I love it. It's my favorite time of the week to hang out with you guys. I used to get to perform like every Thursday, Friday, and a lot of Saturdays at various venues. And n I'm not doing that right now. And um, so you guys are like, I love it. I love hanging out with you. Um, I love all the hearts. I love all the comments. And I love, like Bridget says, Paradise Texas is her favorite song. And Marissa was telling me she loves Ready to Fly and Chain Breaker. And uh, usually I have... And if there are other people on that like certain songs are their favorite, I will give you a shout out if I know that's your favorite. So I hope I'm going to try to remember that next time, Bridget, give you a shout out for Paradise, Texas. But you guys, does anybody else have anything they want to they wanna say tonight? Nathan, hello. Hi. You jumped on at the very end. You want to say anything? So what do you guys go, got going on for the rest of the week? Anything, anything important, anything fun? My Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday have been so super busy and I have a lot I have to catch up on now. Like even tonight, I don't know. Goodness gracious. Yeah, and the, the days, we've passed the time, I guess, when like the days are really long and it, usually I finish my worship Wednesday and... I go get the mail and it's nice and it's like dark right now. That's my window. I'm gonna go get the mail and it's dark. But Bridget says, thank you for singing for us. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for hanging out. Bridget, you're so sweet. You're, you comment on my pictures and stuff all the time. You guys mean the world to me and it, I totally appreciate that. So come back next week, Worship Wednesday, some old hymns, some contemporary Christian songs and some Pamela Mary originals. And I, it's 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, and I look forward to seeing you. So, good night, guys.